Number 63. What is the molarity of the diluted solution when each of the following solutions is diluted to the given final volume? And in this case, we have letter B. So in this case, we have 0 0.5000 liters of a 0 0.1222 molar solution of C387OH, that's propanol, and this is diluted to a final volume of 1.250 liters. Okay? So they clearly... They clearly said that we were diluting, right? Is diluted to, we had a diluted solution, and then it's diluted. So I think we get it, that we got to do the dilution formula, right? That's this formula right here. Just concentrations with volumes, right? Molarity is another word for concentration. So we just have two pairs of molarity and volumes. We got to plug them in and solve. Now the hardest part is just picking out the pair, but I want you guys to analyze this over here. If they say a volume, and which this is a volume, right? It's a liter. And then they say of a molarity, a volume of a molarity, this is one pair. So I know that these two numbers have to go on one side of the equal sign. Doesn't matter which side because they're both equal to each other. I'm gonna do it on the left. So I know that this molarity is 0 0.12222, wait, oops, only three twos. That's capital M for molarity. And the corresponding volume is 0 0.5000, three zeros, and that's liters. Now we just kind of find out what the other molarity and the volume is. Well, they said that we were diluting it to a final volume of 1.250. So that's this guy. 1.250 liters and the liters unit matches so that's all good and what's the molarity well that's the question what is the molarity so i'm solving for m that's x maybe i'll put it over here now i have all my four numbers and a variable which is x so i'm just going to plug it right into the formula 0 0.1222 times 0 0.5000 equals x times 1.250. I got rid of the units when I do my math just because I can say x equals and then I know uh, what unit will be the answer. I don't really have to put my units in my numbers. But I just need to solve for x, right? Maybe I'll put it in blue just to show you that it is the right side. And I'm dividing by 1.250 on both sides, because I want to get x by itself. And now we just plug it in, right? 0.1222 times 0.5 divided by 1.25. Uh, lowest number of sig figs that I see in the, for, in the equations is, they all have four sig figs, so my answer should have four sig figs. So 0.04888. Right, three eighths. And this was a molarity, right? So just look and see what the other molarity unit was. Oh, it was capital M. So in this case, I'm just going to say capital M. And that's it. This is the final diluted molarity, 0 0.04888. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully, this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And yeah, if you want to hit the subscribe button uh, and tell your friends, that would mean the world to me and to my brother. We thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. You guys have been awesome. Let's keep crushing those exams and tests and quizzes. And I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.